The Farmington Fair has been one of the most anticipated events in Franklin County for the last 175 years. It remains a traditional main fair, complete with livestock, exhibits, and of course, a midway. However, what may separate this fair from the others is a day they devote simply to children and agriculture. So what are you doing? Um, I'm making butter right now. What are we doing today, Gage? We are making apple cider. For the last 25 years, close to 800 students from Franklin and surrounding counties pay a visit to the fairgrounds to learn about the animals, Whoa. Maine's berry crop, the role bees play, and much more. The whole idea is to make the kids aware of where their food comes from, their fiber comes from. There's a, there's a beginning point, and we want them to see it from the animals that they visit in the barns um, to the byproducts such as the applesauce or the cider that they get to uh, sometimes help hands on and, and to produce and then to sample it. The students range from kindergarten to fourth grade. Well, we're learning about animals that, and farming and stuff. We learned how to make paper. Yeah, we learned how to make paper. You think farming's important to the state? Yeah. Why is that? Because you can get milk from cows. While a handful of middle schoolers make a return trip to the fairgrounds to either help out or continue their interest in this profession. You think you have an interest in farming later on with this? Yes, I actually do own my own farm. You do? Yes. So how is this helping you out knowing that your classmates are taking the same interest that you have? It's pretty cool. Of course, not every student gets a true hands-on experience at home. Want to try? Yeah. Which is why this day comes into play in the first place. One local teacher gets involved with the actual teaching of making cider because he says early education is key to helping preserve our state's rich heritage. I think it's very important. That's why we're doing it. Uh, up where we are, it's fairly common to have uh, gardens and canning and all that stuff, but it's getting less and less common. While farming may not be in everyone's future, still learning how to churn butter. Is there a method to churning this butter? Is there any secret to it? Um, yeah, yeah, you, can kind of yeah, you it really because you can't hear it moving around anymore. Okay, good. Or learning how to make cider <laughs> is still a very cool way to spend a school day. For one day each year, the fairgrounds opens its doors to these students for a classroom like no other in hopes of opening their eyes and minds to one of our state's great resources.